All right, you guys, I just came back from picking up these beauties. Look at this beautiful pair of lamp. All right, so I absolutely love them. That's what they're looking like. I've never seen a lampshade like this before. So for $5 each, guys, I had to grab them both. Mikasa. It is a Mikasa set for $7.99. Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. It's been a little while, but it's been a busy summer. Uh, the kids are out of school, as you are aware, and I am working on uh, refreshing, styling an empty apartment. Here is a couple of pics of the apartment, and it's just been super, super busy, but I am back. I wanna show you guys what I've been picking up. I've been picking up a couple of things from the thrift store, Facebook Marketplace and a mix of new items as well just to get this place uh, styled and, and today I want to share with you what I've been collecting to style or work on this project so let's go thrifting let's go see what we can find $6.99 do they have like a color thing? these I like these $9.99 set of four. $9.99 set of four. Oh, look at this one. $14.99. If you are new to my channel, I love to visit the thrift store and uh, purchase new and unique, just a mix of pieces. I love to decorate with old and new pieces as well as natural, neutral, and unique standout pieces for my home that you typically will not find in a general home store so here i am the at the salvation army just taking a look at the pieces that are on the floor and i came across this basket that i actually picked up a similar one in my last haul they are called i believe longer burger basket uh, i want to give a shout out to one of my uh watchers or subscribers that actually left a comment with the name of this type of basket and they were once pretty popular back in the 90s and were sold for hundreds of dollars. Now you can pretty much find them in many retail stores for varying prices. They are pretty much used as a catch-all on your stairs, especially if you have kids in your home. Usually there are stuff laying on the stairs, you know, so this serves as a catch-all uh, basket. I've, basket. I've been seeing those pretty often lately. Now, so just here I am browsing the picture artwork and uh, picture frames. Oh, like this. $2.99, so this would be $1.50. So then I came across two organic shaped mugs. I did pick up uh, a green version of these mugs uh, a few trips ago. Um, I'm not a fan of the writing on them. But I am a fan of the shape. They are Ray Dunn uh, mugs and um, I really love the shape but not the writing. So then I came across this set. Oh look at this set for $7.99 and it's ribbed. Oh my gosh. This is cute. Super cute. Mikasa. So a little story behind this set, guys. I came across this beautiful set, which was only $7.99, took it to the register. Then I was told by the cashier that yellow stickers would be at 99 cents the following week. And if I wanted to leave it behind, I would be able to get it for 99 cents. So thinking I would go back to find it, which is silly of me, uh, I ended up not making it to the, back to the store the following week. And when I did make it back, it was gone. So that is a lesson for you. I should have known better. And um, I just took a chance. And I should have just paid the $7.99. But, mm, you know, there's always going to be something else.
So as I mentioned earlier on in the video, I am working on an empty apartment. We will be refreshing and staging it for furnished rental. So I am looking to find some pieces either at the thrift store or Facebook marketplace in addition to the new items that will be purchased for it. So um, as you can see here, this pair of bar stools were only $15 each. I thought those were a really good find. So that huge bamboo ceramic lamp and these glassware had me feeling like I need to be on vacation somewhere. <laughs> so as you can see here, I am back home and I want to take some time to show you the pieces that I picked up from Facebook Marketplace. Now, as you can see, I picked up this arch wooden queen headboard for only $25, guys. Now, archways are so in style right now. Anything arch, like arch... Uh, entryway arch furniture arch mirrors so i decided to go with this headboard now it is solid as is and a beautiful wooden color but i decided to go ahead and change it to a white uh, headboard as one of the bedrooms will have a more uh, neutral airy look to it so i decided to use the spray paint at first but then I ended up painting it because it wasn't as white or as fresh as I wanted it. And as you can see here, this is um, me painting over the white spray paint to give it a more brighter white, um, as you can see here. Now, it would have been easy enough to just go ahead and purchase a an upholstered, upholstered headboard um, as we are all familiar with but I didn't want to go that route as I figured the wooden headboard would be a more hygienic or easier to clean since this will be a furnished rental. And this is the current uh, condition or current state of the room. As you can see here from the before picture, we made a lot of changes. So here I'm showing you the headboard. It is now nice, white and bright, just like I intended and we've attached the headboard to a bed base which was purchased from walmart uh, the mattress was also purchased from walmart uh, here i'm also showing you that we've painted out the window frames white uh, we still are in the process of getting the radiator painted this is a historic home and uh, it, this home has a lot of older features so there is a radiator in the room We've hung a TV, bought a dresser, 
and we've painted the main bedroom doors green to match the exterior of the home comment down below if you would like to see progress on the home staging or home styling update leave me a comment be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so so i did pick up a couple more pieces here i am showing you i did pick up another headboard now this headboard will be used in the second bedroom now if you've seen my bedroom styling a couple months ago where i've painted a antique style headboard with uh, a really dark gray color that's exactly what i did with this headboard we painted it in the color cracked pepper by bear and um, i absolutely love how it came out so the idea is to have a more contemporary modern look in the first bedroom i showed you earlier and in the second bedroom we'll have a more traditional classic style look with modern touches so this is how the um, headboard came out which i absolutely love um, it also features the two uh also features an arch detail um on the headboard so i really love that i really love that it is a traditional style headboard with the with the uh cracked pepper paint it does give it a more modern look while still um, keeping the traditional style of it so uh, we also picked up actually this dresser so as you can see guys i have been doing a lot of sourcing on facebook this is just a tip for you never settle you know if you see something on facebook and you know it's just not quite what you want just keep on looking eventually i believe you will find exactly what you're looking for this dresser i picked this up for only 40 dollars, you guys so it does come with the mirror but i won't be using the mirror as you can see here there is a tv mounted on the wall the tv was mounted before we bought the dresser so we definitely will be moving the position of the tv closer to the dresser because as of this point it is way too high so here i'm showing you what the dresser looked like before and this is what it looks like now also with the color cracked pepper i love that it doesn't need uh drawer handles because it actually has a handle built into the drawer the face of the drawer itself so as you can see everyone my husband and i have been work doing a lot of work on this project it has been taking up a lot of our time but you know i am excited to get it styled and get it ready for rental it is the first floor of a duplex and i'm excited to share the progress with you guys if you don't mind seeing the updates of course now you know as i mentioned before uh we have been sourcing stuff from facebook marketplace stuff from the thrift store and also new items now this is a set of end table and coffee table that i also picked up from facebook marketplace for only 80 dollars. i have been searching for a uh, stone table coffee table such as this one for a while and i just hadn't been finding these shape of the the of the style that i wanted until now of course so i absolutely i'm excited and i absolutely love this now the uh chess set that you're seeing here on the top was also a thrift find and it's part of a game set that was only four dollars guys at the thrift store uh so if you are looking for a chess set such as this one be sure to check out the game section of toys and game section of the thrift store i typically find um chess wooden chess pieces uh and chess board and as well as marble chess pieces and marble chess board in um, in that section of the thrift store the next item i thrifted is this canvas uh framed canvas which was 20 dollars at the thrift store now i'm not quite sure yet if i want to keep the color or the painting on the front i may end up diying it into a abstract art uh such as this one that i diy'd last year this one is currently in my home so comment down below let me know what you think would you keep it as is or would you uh paint over the current painting all right you guys i just came back from picking up these beauties Look at this beautiful pair of lamp. I love that it's nested in this metal piece here at the bottom. 
and this is concrete of the shades it has like a speckled uh effect so i'm thinking i may or may not paint it white to make it a bit brighter but i do kind of like the speckled look all right so here's the base so what i plan to do is paint the metal in a spray paint it black and then um spray paint the the concrete um i don't know if it's plaster or concrete it is solid but anyway i plan to spray paint this in like a uh, beige or grayish uh concrete uh textured spray paint um just to make it a bit more make it pop more and uh again spray paint this in black so i absolutely love them that's what they're looking like i've never seen a lampshade like this before so for five dollars each guys i had to grab them both five dollars I thought this photograph was absolutely beautiful. Now uh, this would be perfect like in a kitchen or dining area. Um, I do work in historic homes, so this would be, I think, perfect. I just love the pop of the fruits in the bowl, even though it is an antique bowl. And I don't know, I just, I think I love the pop of the fruits against the black background and the marble uh slab that it's sitting on i just i don't know something about this not my typical style but you guys this was only two dollars so i had to save it so i'm just gonna go ahead and keep this for a future project i think this would be um perfect if it's framed and this is actually 16 by 20. so I think this would be so pretty if framed and placed like in a modern style kitchen. This would be such a statement piece. So I picked this up for $2 and I couldn't go to the thrift store and not pick up a basket, you guys. That's a must. So I picked up these two baskets. Uh, this one was $2 and this one was also $2. So I love the curves. Um, this is perfect again as a catch-all bowl or for even for fruits um, pretty much just anything I want to use it for and it's a decent size not too big not too small I love this kind of scalloped edges on this which is kind of on trend right now and I just love the shape of it so these are both two dollars each perfect absolutely beautiful Guys, look at the hydrangeas. Ugh, the grass is a working progress, you guys, but the hydrangeas are huge this year. So pretty. All right, and last but definitely not least, I did pick up the huge vintage lamp that we saw earlier on in the video. Now, backstory on this lamp. Now, it's tagged with a $6.99 sticker, which is already a very low price for a vintage piece such as this one. But the Salvation Army had white sticker items at 99 cents. So I could not believe when I saw the white sticker on this lamp. So I ended up only grabbing it for 99 cents, you guys. Now, as you can see, it features like a uh, bamboo style uh a pillar style column style design on it uh, with the scrolls and the pedestal and the bamboo like uh, structure of it it's just a unique and interesting lamp and if I ended up not if I end up not finding a perfect spot for it 
I probably will end up trying to sell it online, maybe on Facebook Marketplace or on Etsy or something, but I couldn't leave this behind. So it will continue to sit in my garage until I decide what to do with it. <laughs> now, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below. Let me know what you liked from the haul today. And I hope you will go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet done so. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.